Let us continue with our math contest drills for Filipino kids. This time, let us have grade 5 easy round, 15 questions. Reminder, for this easy round, participants are not allowed to use scratch paper. Each item must be answered mentally in 15 seconds. You may write your answer in an answer sheet at the end of each question. Let us begin. Question number one. 15 second questions. Express 68 over 13 as a mixed number. Again, express 68 over 13 as a mixed number. Go. Is up. Let us see your answer. It's 5 and 3 over 13. Let us continue. Question number 2. What number is 18 more than 15 squared? What number is 18 more than 15 squared? Go. Is up the answer is 243 question number three what is the quotient when 85 thousands is divided by 17 what is the quotient when 85 thousands is divided by 17 go is up the answer is 5,000 or 0 0.005 let us proceed question number four how many 25 centavo pieces are equal to 73 pesos how many 25 centavo pieces are equal to 73 pesos go The answer is 292. Question number 5. Two numbers are in the ratio 7 to 12. If the smaller number is 105, what is the bigger number? Two numbers are in the ratio 7 to 12. If the smaller number is 105, what is the bigger number? Go. Okay, time is up. The answer is 180. Question number 6. The area of a square is 625 square centimeters. What is its perimeter? The area of a square is 625 square centimeters. What is its perimeter? Go. Time is up. The answer is 100 centimeters. Question number 7. 65 centimeters less than 3 meters is equal to how many meters? 65 centimeter less than 3 meters is equal to how many meters? Go.
Time is out. The answer is 2.35 meters. Question number 8. What is the greatest common factor of 45, 75, and 120? What is the greatest common factor of 45, 75, and 120? Go. Time is up. So the GCF is 15. Question number 9. What is 5 sixth of the sum of 3 and 1 third and 5 and 2 thirds? Again, what is 5 sixth of the sum of 3 and 1 third and 5 and 2 thirds? Go. Time is up. The answer is 7 and 1 half or 15 over 2. Question number 10. What is the reciprocal of 23 and 3 fourths? Again, what is the reciprocal of 23 and 3 fourths? Go. Time is up. The answer is 4 over 95. Okay, did you get all 10? At this point, let us discuss all the solutions to the 10 items. Let us begin with question number 1. Express 68 over 13 as a mixed number. To write this as a mixed number, we divide 68 by 13 and get the remainder. So 68 divided by 13 is 5 remainder 3 so to write this as a mixed number the quotient as a whole number the remainder as the new numerator and we get 13 as the denominator still so that is 5 and 3 over 13 question number 2 what number is 18 more than 15 squared so that is 15 squared plus 18 15 squared is 225, that is 15 times 15, add 18, so we get 243. Question number 3, what is the quotient when 0 0.085 or 85 thousandths is divided by 17? So dividing a decimal by whole number, our dividend is 0 0.085, divisor is 17. So, <clears throat> we write in column 0, 0.0 because 0 cannot be divided by 17. 8 still cannot be divided by 17, so that's a 0. Now, we use 85 divided by 17, and 17 goes into 85 5 times. And 5 times 17 is 85. So, our final answer is 5 thousandths or 0 0.005. Question number four. How many 25 pieces are equal to 73 pesos? We know that four, 70, four 25 centavo coins make one peso. Since there, there are 73 pesos, so we just multiply 73 times four, and that will be 292 pieces of 25 centavo coins. Number five, two numbers are in the ratio of seven to 12. If the smaller number is 105, what is the bigger number? This is a direct proportion. If we let n be the bigger number, let us start some algebra here with grade five. Let us represent the bigger number by n. So if we're going to write the proportion that is seven to 12 is equal to 105 to n. Then by the cross product property of proportion, 
product of the extreme 7 times n equals product of the means 12 times 105 so that is n equals 12 times 105 divided by 7 to get the value of n in this case do not multiply 12 and 105 that will make the number bigger we use cancellation method 105 and 7 can be divided by 7 the numerator in the denominator divide by 7 105 is 15 and 7 is 1 so we need only to multiply 12 times 15 to get n or the bigger number is 180 question number 6 the area of a square is 625 square centimeters we are asked of the perimeter the area is 625 centimeters then the side is 25 centimeters because we know that the area of the square is s squared okay now that we know s and since the perimeter is equal to 4 times s then the perimeter is 4 times 25 that is 100 centimeters question number seven 65 centimeters less than 3 meters is how many meters? So that is 3 meters minus 65 centimeters. Since we are asked the unit meters, we convert 65 centimeters to meters. That is 3 meters minus 0.65 meters. 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So we get 2.35 meters. Number 8. What is the greatest common factor of 45, 75, and 120? For this one, getting the GCF, we will use the continuous division method. So we divide 45, 75, and 120 continuously by their common prime factors. 45, 75, and 120 are divisible by 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 75 divided by 5 is 15 120 divided by 5 is 24 the results 9 15 and 24 can still be divided by a common prime factor which is 3 9 divided by 3 is 3 15 divided by 3 is 5 24 divided by 3 is 8 since there is no more prime number that can divide all 3 5 and 8 we get the GCF by multiplying the common prime factors that is 5 times 3 so the GCF is 15 number 9 what is 5 sixth of the sum of 3 and 1 thirds and 5 and 2 thirds so that is 5 six times the sum of the two mixed numbers and since the fractions have the same denominator we can easily add 5, 6 times 9, 3 plus 5 is 8, 1 third plus 2 thirds is 1, so that is 8 plus 1, 9. Again in here, we do not multiply 5 and 9 right away, let us use cancellation. 6 and 9 can be divided by 3, so 9 becomes 3 and 6 becomes 2. So we need to multiply now 5 times 3 is 15 over 2. The given are in mixed numbers, so we present our answer in mixed number. 7 and 1 half number 10 what is the reciprocal of 23 and 3 fourths so we convert first this mixed number to improper fraction and how do we do that whole number times denominator plus numerator over the denominator that is 23 times 4 plus 3 over 4 95 over 4, we get the reciprocal 4 over 95. That is all. Thank you.